Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Flyby 11 is a new third-party app that allows you to bypass the Windows 11 system requirements if you want to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. And the previous video I posted on Flyby 11 and what we're looking at currently is that it made it easier to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware where the developer of the program had released a new version um, where you can drag and drop a Windows 11 ISO to perform an in-place upgrade. So I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. Now my reason for mentioning Flyby 11 again, because we don't normally talk about third-party apps on the channel, but because it seems that the next kind of information I've received is so tied into Windows, I thought I'd just update you because I know, although I don't endorse and support installing Windows on unsupported hardware, I know this is a popular choice and it's I've seen quite a lot of comments uh, in the channel regarding Flyby 11 and installing. So just to keep you guys posted and up to date like we like to do on the channel. So the reason for this video today is that the developer of Flyby 11, if we just head over to GitHub where it's maintained and developed, has noted that Microsoft Defender which obviously is the built-in antivirus for Windows 10 and Windows 11, is flagging the app as potentially unwanted application. So it's flagging it as a PUA. And here we can see it says, the app is now flagged as PUA Win32 patcher by Microsoft Defender. The developer says, you can safely ignore this if you wish to proceed with the upgrade. I will contact... Microsoft to verify whether this is an official classification or a false positive. Now, if you are wanting to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, I would suggest doing it in a virtual machine or not on your main kind of driver or your daily driver. Because although the developer says you can safely ignore this if you wish to proceed with the upgrade, it is still said that the developer needs to verify whether this is an official classification or a false positive, okay? So I'm putting it out there just to keep you guys posted and in the loop. So if we just head over to the Microsoft Security Intelligence website, this gives us a summary of what the actual Win32 patcher is all about. It says, this application will stop from running on your network because it has a poor reputation the application can affect the quality of your computing experience so it's not like a trojan or malicious malware that's going to install ransomware or you know brick your system it's basically obviously this is um, flagged as potentially unwanted application so it's basically microsoft's way of saying it's a third-party app it's not um an official Microsoft product, and it could affect your computing experience. But nonetheless, um, the developers does say you can safely ignore this if you wish to proceed with upgrade. Obviously, you do that at your own risk, but I'm just putting it out there because I want to keep you guys posted, and I know that Flyby 11 has gained quite a lot of um, popularity since we've been talking about it on the channel. And obviously, if any more updates come out regarding related to windows i don't post on third-party apps but if it's related to windows and i know it may affect some of you then obviously i try to keep you guys in the loop so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one